Well, the future is looking bright for the Filipinas as they advance to the second round of the AFC Olympic qualifiers. Now, but before that, they will be on a quest to remain on the podium and hopefully on top of the Southeast Asian Games. Let's hear more from the national women's football team members, Ina Palacios and Haley Long. Welcome back to the show. Always great to have you. I know you're sick of me. You see no. me all. Well, they're not sick of you, yeah. but they're not. They're, I yeah. guess. I, I don't know. Say, I can say. I don't, I don't know about that. But I want to start off first with Haley because, uh, again, advancing to the next round of the AFC Olympic qualifiers uh, is obviously always a big deal for the Filipinas. But it feels different now because of the fact that the expectations have risen. The performance that you had was really, really great. Zero goals conceded, 16 goals scored. Just how are you girls feeling going into the next round? We're feeling really good. I mean, like you said, there's expectations now that we had such a busy and successful 2022. Um, but we always say on the team, pressure is a privilege. And that is something we learn to um, absorb and grow with every day. So we don't like to expect like wins all right, the time, right. but um, always just expect to do, do our best and continue the growth we have as a team. And talking about growth and you know doing your best, Ina, the team had a three and zero record um, in this one. What's the winning formula? What did you guys do, um, you know, to achieve this? I think it's just the mindset that we all have, like mm -hmm. that winning mindset, winning the moment, as we call it. And we're just really working on how to be better as a team and moving forward, how we can use that one in preparation for the SEA Games. So I think we did a good job in preparing in that sense. We used that tournament, the Olympic qualifiers, as like a preparation for us leading up to the SEA and Games. And just a, just a quick follow-up, you know, athlete to athlete here, like talking about those habits, what kind of habits... I can't add anything to this, yeah, by I the mean, way. Like, so. I mean, yeah, what, what, kind of, what, kind, what kind of habits um, were you guys like, you know, working on all, all throughout, I mean, leading into, you know, all the leagues that you're going to be playing? In? I mean, there are a lot. It's about the little details at this point, mm -hmm. you know, as elite athletes, it's really about the details, how you can make your game even better. On and off the court. On and off sure. the court. So, more... More than just physical, it's also a lot of mental preparation. Mm -hmm. You know, Haley, I know when we were going through the questions a while ago, the, one <laughs> of the questions was, how do you at least maintain the spot on the podium? But then that's not the expectation this year, is it? Going into the Southeast Asian Games, you ended up with a bronze last time. A bit of yeah. a disappointing, uh, disappointing campaign, considering where they came, where you girls came from. How are you looking at this next campaign? I mean, it is. The next challenge we have before going into our camp before the World Cup, um, mm -hmm. it's not something we're going to take lightly or think will come easy because the bronze definitely didn't come easy, but it would definitely be a goal to push ourselves and keep ourselves on the podium, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but we always want to be better as every athlete wants to be. So. For me, it's bronze or gold kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like you don't yeah. want to go to the finals and lose. And lose it, yeah. yeah. It's at least my final game, I'm in a winning you spot. Because right. you can so. never win silver. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's a yeah. great point. Yeah, you can never win silver. But Unless it's league dive. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, but we're not going to go dive deep into that. Actually, uh, I, I, you know, I want to ask you, looking at the competition right now, because I don't remember the last time the Filipinas were actually looked at as the team to beat almost exclusively like this is the team that you have to take down the way your girls dominated the AFF Women's Championship and now going to Southeast Asian Games you take a look at the groupings you take a look at the, how everything could shape up how are you feeling about where the team is at at least looking at the competition right now I think there's a like a big chance that we will perform and we will do our best because like what Haley said we just want to keep on growing and continue on improving ourselves and we expect nothing less. And last year we were third and like what you said, coming from a big tournament of just qualifying for the World Cup and then you go into SEA Games and then you fall short of like third, it's kind of puts us on the ground and like really humble us in that experience that it is a ball game and anyone can win at any point and you just have to make sure that you're the team that really wants to win it the best. Well, you know, Except for silver, you can't win silver. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, win. unless it's... No, no, no. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, you know, when you're playing a sport, all, the only thing you can control basically is your work and how the results will just come, right? But we're just a few weeks away from the SEA Games and the preparations you have leading into that Cambodia trip. How would you assess the team's preparation for that, uh, Haley? Uh, we were actually discussing this like before we got here yeah. because it's it's hard to say 
specifically what we're doing as a team because like Ina said, we're in a, we're in a u unique uh, situation. Mm -hmm. um, we each have our own experiences because we are all over the globe right now. Um, we're the two here now, so we're each doing our work on and off the pitch, but more in particular off the pitch. Like Ina said, it's about the details. It's about showing up when you don't want to. It's about eating what you should and fueling yourself, getting uh, adequate sleep. It's all these little details that affect how you perform because mm -hmm. we're all athletes here, so we, we know Even the Paul. recipe. Yeah. So I, was gonna say I, recipe I, I'm right? a professional oh, athlete sure. watcher. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Ina, let's, when you take a look at where the Filipinas are at right now and where you girls are going, um, as a, I, I know you know this as a very long-suffering football fan <laughs> and, uh, in, the in the country, what do you think needs to be done to make sure that you girls have the right support, or even more support rather, going into this next chapter? And of course, making sure it's sustainable beyond the World Cup and hopefully to a deeper Olympic the campaign. The perfect question for No, you it's... Yeah, no, I, I, I had to yeah. ask her, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I like how you said consistency and, you know, continuity because it's what we need. Continuity of the program and to prove and to tell everyone that it's not a one-time thing. Like, we're here to make sure that we're developing the sport, um, not just fan base, but the sport itself here in the country because it deserves it. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do that, there's a lot of investment that needs to be done from everyone, like all the stakeholders in the sport. So it would really take a lot of effort both as a spectator, as a player, and everyone that involves the sport, and not just for football, I think sports in general here in the Philippines, we need to consider it as a career so mm -hmm. that people will yeah. have to look forward or they can look forward to something that they can do yeah. outside you know, collegiate level, yeah. that there is a professional level. Uh, ladies, we really appreciate the time you spent coming over here. I, I always enjoy it. Jago knows I light up every time we talk football. Every time. Every, every time. time. Even out of this, out, I mean, away from this We're show. talking about football yeah. after the show, every by the way. <laughs> Ina, Haley, really appreciate the both of you. Good luck in the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. And after the break.